Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. Good old Monday. Um, hope y'all are doing well. It's uh, a little overcast today. Looks like it's going to be a rainy Monday. I think they've got some scattered showers forecast um, for today, but it's all good. Old Dave's always got plenty of stuff to do inside. So, anyhow, let's uh, let me get over here to the comments and see. Looks like we already got a little crowd assembled over here. Let's see, we got Troy Pritchard in the house. Says, I got an appointment this morning, so I dropped in to give a thumbs up and tell everybody happy Monday and have a great day. Thank you, Troy. Appreciate it. Uh, Joanne's watching this morning. It's a good morning to all in Cornwall, Ontario. Hope everybody had a great weekend and a safe one. Yeah. Larry Galt says, morning all. Got all new LED lights in the shop yesterday. One strip replaced a four bulb fluorescent. It's good to have an electrician sign. Yeah. Yeah, my best buddy Jim who lives right around the corner. He's an electrician, so it's good to have uh, friends and relatives that are an electrician for sure. He does he does all my stuff. I don't like messing with electricity. It's uh, just not my thing. Steve Kronsky says, "Good morning, everyone. Hope you had a good weekend. Forty degrees in Mustang, Oklahoma, this morning." Headed to the low 60s later. That's ah, not too bad. Kevin Ells is watching over there from South Africa. Thank you, Kevin, for tuning in. I appreciate you, buddy. Matt, awesome wood things hoss, a.k.a. all things YouTube, a.k.a. piano man, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Welcome to Coffee Sessions, Matt. Hope you're going to get stay a while and not go to some stupid meeting. Mark Lindsay CNC's in the house this morning, y'all. Balmy, 43 degrees here in Southern Oregon this morning. Um, good morning to you, Mark. Mike Reynolds says, good morning, folks. Happy Monday. Good old Janet. She's over there holding down the fort in, uh, on the Facebook clan. Thank you, Janet, for watching this morning. Hope you got you some good hot coffee. Percy Kuka looks like. I'm trying to. I always look at the pictures and trying to figure out what kind of machine that is. He says good evening. So it must be. Uh, you must be from across the pond or something. Percy. Uh, let's see. LB Sharp's in the house. 31 degrees in Geronimo, Oklahoma. Plondike's here this morning. How you doing? Ernest says, good morning, Dave Gatton. Good morning to you, Ernest. Hope you're doing well. Gary Hammett, good morning, sir. Paul Stewart, here's another CNC. I love those CNC shots in the uh, profile pics or whatever you call that little picture. Earl Walker, good morning, everyone. 32 and wet. That doesn't sound good because 32 and wet doesn't usually go together. Uh, Danny Gillespie, what's up from upstate South Carolina? Welcome to the coffee sessions, Danny. Glad you're here. Mike Reynolds says, put LEDs in last week made a big difference. Yeah, LEDs are awesome. They uh, really light it up. I had, uh, well, like I said, my buddy Jim, when he uh, was doing the wiring a couple, three years ago, whenever it was, he came over and ran the, the 230 in my garage so that I could run my spindle. And he come in and he goes, you know what? He goes, you need more light in here. Next thing I know, he shows up and he's got, I think he put up three, I think he put up three LED lights that replaced the old fluorescent things I had out there. Yeah, it's, it's really nice. Uh, let's see. Oh, Percy's in. Bangalore, India. Okay. Well, welcome, Percy, and good evening to you. I guess it would be evening over there. All right. I think we're caught up on the uh, 
chat here momentarily. Y'all know what day it is besides Monday? It is, and I know this because I asked the all-knowing Alexa. And she said that today was Thomas Crapper Day. Um, Thomas Crapper is the British plumber that... Uh, is given credit for uh, inventing the commode, I think, but according to Alexa, she says that it was, um, he didn't really invent it. He just was well known for it because he would have them on display in his, uh, his showroom. Uh, I guess, I think she said it was in London, but yeah, so there you go, Thomas Crapper Day. You're welcome. Um, but if you're ever on Jeopardy, and you'll say, I'll take who invented toilets for a thousand, Alex. Make sure the answer is not who is Thomas Crapper, because he didn't really invent them. Bet you guys didn't know you was going to learn all this cool stuff when you could tuned in this morning, didn't you? Bet you didn't know it. Mark says he invented the ball cock valve that is still used in commodes today. Yeah, you know, it's funny because commodes, when you look at them, they haven't changed much in a long time. They're still pretty... Uh, I mean, they've been the same ever since I've been looking inside of them. I know that. So, uh, Janet says, hence the name. Yeah. Yeah, they, they did the name it after him, kind of. Um, Philip says, good morning. Interesting fact of the day. Yeah, I'm just full of them. Or full of it, maybe. But, yeah. Um Dave, try saying dot or echo, then she won't respond. Okay. Well, I'm thinking I might change your name, too. I think you can change the name, but I was thinking when I saw that, I, I was thinking you could change it to anything, but you can't. I think you there's only one or two other things you can change it to. So, um hope y'all can't hear my dogs barking. They wanted to go out like at five till nine. I'm like, okay, you can go out. But if you go out now, you're going to stay out for the whole thing. Cause, and it's usually just Jack. He's such a sissy. Rocky will go out there and, you know, do his business, or whatever. Then he'll come up on the deck and just lay down and wait, you know, wait. He knows I'm going to come let him back in eventually. Jack's got to sit there at the door and bark and whine and all kinds of stuff like that. So, such a big baby. Um, let's see, Ernest says, Dave's Mental Monday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, trying to think of anything else going on. I don't really have a whole lot of news. Um, there's not um, not a lot of uh, other news. I'll say. They seem to be uh, all uh, talking about one thing. So, let's see. Matt Wiley says, hi, from Lawton, Oklahoma. I run out hours my broadband. I drive a truck. Okay. All righty. Well, welcome, Matt. OK, 
Okay, well, anything y'all want to talk about? Um, like I said, I don't, uh, I don't have a lot of uh, interesting tidbits this morning. The Thomas Crapper thing was about all I learned this morning. Because everything else she told me was all about uh, all that little stuff going on in Washington and all that. And I don't even want people talking about that. But uh, comments are coming in slow today. I'm looking at YouTube and I see them rolling up over there, but it takes them a minute to get over here. Uh, looks just like some conversations going on. Oh, we got one coming up here. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little rainy again today. I don't know how long that's going to last. But I'm working on uh, a project, my big 2020 project that I've been hinting about. Um, for a while it's finally happening so i can work on that and uh, not get wet so you'll see all about that here for long oh yeah mike said it's rem reminded me that it's rob schuster's birthday today that it is i don't see rob in the chat but uh happy birthday to rob i've already posted on his um what do you call it his time timeline i guess that's what they call it yeah rob i've known rob quite a while he's one of the uh and he still uses that old shoestring budget cnc you know one from the free plans back in the day uh he's he hadn't built a gat and he just uses that one. Of course, he's built that fantastic drum making rotary thingy, which is just so cool. Uh, and he even posted pictures where he did a snake on the, around a drum and put epoxy on it. It's really cool. I'll have to have him back on the show to talk more about that kind of stuff. Curtis says good morning all starting the Gatton cnc build today excellent excellent uh all things youtube says good luck with this curtis um by the way matt how are you coming on yours i saw uh i saw the picture you posted but that's been a while and, and it looks like you went with red um Let's see here. Clyde Labonte's in the house this morning. How you doing, Clyde? Janet says, do you remember the old, I don't want to sell insert product here, but old Dave needs the money. Not sure what that's about. Do you remember the old... All day he needs the money. I'm not getting that one, Janet. I'm slow today. I guess I'm uh, haven't had enough coffee yet. Uh, maybe somebody could enlighten me on that one. Big D's in the house. Good morning, Dave Clemens. Uh, what do we got going on over here? More CNC stuff. Yeah, Earl says, I'm not much into basketball, but Kobe Bryant of the Lakers, yeah, yeah. I wasn't even going to talk about that, and I don't mean to sound disrespectful because it was a tragedy, obviously, but at the end of the day, he was a basketball player. Yeah, he was a pretty good basketball player, but he was a basketball player. And, of course, there. And when I say there, I mean the news people. It's all about the tributes and, you know, it's going to be that nonstop now for, well, that and the impeachment stuff. Um, 
for the next two weeks probably. And like I said, I don't mean to sound cold, don't mean to sound disrespectful, but uh, everybody knows who he is, but they probably don't know the name of the soldiers that were killed this month in, you know, here in, you know, in January in Afghanistan or Pakistan or all these places where we got stuff going on. So, um, so yeah, so I'm not even going to talk about that. I'm, you know, like I said, don't mean to be disrespectful, but I'm, I'm already sick of hearing about that. So there you go. Uh, let's see here. Um, Matt says, I also ordered a Steppers Chinese New Year forces shipping delay delays. Yeah. Yeah, those those Chinese New Year things, man, they're like uh, it's like a whole freaking month or something. They get off because <laughs> I've had to deal with them before ordering stuff um, for the garage works. Um, the bearings I use for those, I get direct from them. Um, and it's like, man, you got to make sure you you know when that is, and you order ahead and ahead of time and have enough to um Jay Fabricate says as a vet I understand the feelings yeah I mean you know it's just you know and I don't want to harp on it but it's just like everybody will know that guy's name but they probably don't know if you ask them who their congressman or their senator is they probably couldn't tell you you know and it's just you know People are stupid. I'm sorry. I'm going to say it. People are stupid. Um, we, we, we tend to idolize the wrong thing. Um, and, uh, that's all I'm going to say. It, 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 you know, there's lots of other things going on that are more important than that. So hitch looks Hitch is back to work. Have a great day. All right, Hitch. What are you doing working? <laughs> I don't know what's up with that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I'm not getting some of the... I'm just not with it today, I guess. It says, hey, Dave, how do you make a loon bird out of a piece of wood slab? All right, is this a joke, or will there be a punchline later? How do you make a loon bird out of a piece of wood slab? I don't know. Don't get that one either. Uh, let's see, Patrick's is in the house. How you doing, Patrick's? Good to see you here. Um... Earl Walker says, exactly, yes, I'm a veteran, and you don't hear about who might have gotten killed this weekend. Yeah, yeah, you won't hear that on the news, but you'll hear about some celebrity who's, you know, whatever. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, sign off here today, folks. Um, we'll keep this Monday one short and sweet. Well, thank you all for tuning in today. Um, you know, when you go to the bathroom today, make sure you thank uh, Thomas Graffer for, for inventing the ball cock valve or whatever that was. Um, and I don't know who, the, who did the commode thing, who invented that officially, but, but I think I'm thankful for them too. Um, Janet says I need more coffee yeah I probably do I'm just on my second cup and um, uh, yeah all right well I'm going to get out of here like I said we're going to quit knock this one off early I guess uh, and everybody have an awesome Monday Thank y'all for tuning in. 
if you're so inclined, please leave a thumbs up on the way out or thumbs down if you don't like what I say. Doesn't matter to me. All the same. Anyway, y'all have an awesome Monday, and we'll uh, meet up here tomorrow morning at 0900. Bring your coffee. We'll see you then. Everybody have a good one.